So what's going on, toxic gamers? Uh, you might want to stop rolling those fat doobies around because guess what? Gaming devs coming out and they're saying that gamers are toxic, they're problematic, they cancel the gamers, cancel Asmongold. Uh, they're also saying, and this situation is still ongoing. Guys, like this video if you think they're two genders. Dislike the video if you think they're 5,000 genders because we still got that, you know, BBC Samurai situation ongoing. Yeah, they're disrespecting the Japanese culture, stereotyping the black homies as well. Yeah, bro, like they're actually doing that, right? And gamers are now finally waking up, but apparently an, an anonymous game, game developer comes out and says that he kinda hates gamers. Yay, yeah, we're gonna get into it, roll it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's an interesting story going around, and this one comes to us from an anonymous post. Now, obviously, whenever it's an anonymous post, you guys got to take it with a grain of salt. You got to be a little careful. But this one in particular, the person who wrote this whatever post uh, is honestly either a very good troll or Maybe. someone who is knee deep in the sauce Maybe. and is basically frustrated that people are not eating what they're giving them. Now, we have an mm. article here from That Park Place uh -oh. with a headline that reads, Anonymous Game Developer Admits That I Kind of Hate Gamers and Calls Asmongold's Viewers Bigots. Shut up! <laughs> oh my god, I don't care! Man, that is crazy. Shout out to Hypnotic and shout out to you guys as well. Check this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he decided or she decided to want to go after Gold's viewers for whatever reason. We're going to find out in the article. But I got to tell you, it's but really why? not that shocking to see a supposed game developer anonymously posting online and complaining about their overall disdain of the customer that gives them a job in the first place. So let's get mm. into this article, guys. This happens nowhere else. It only happens in gaming, right? Because everywhere else, the customer is always right. But in gaming... The customer is always wrong for whatever reason, right? Oh, you don't like a game? Oh, go pound sand. You're toxic. You're problematic, right? Gamers always get squashed on, man. Like, nowhere else this happens. You go to any store and, and for some reason, right? Like, you're looking for a product, searching for a product, and, you know, the guy comes out, the employee comes out, disrespects you. What you're gonna do? You're gonna walk out. You're not gonna shop there, right? But in gaming, these devs, these publishers can get away with it. How many times we see that, man? Gamers talks, a gamer problem. <laughs> and yes, gamers do complain, sometimes for right reasons, other times for not right reasons let's just say that right but gamers complain devs call them toxic <laughs> publishers call them toxic as well and the gamers still keep on buying it happens nowhere else man like i don't know bruh from the, the that park place but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to like push us out into like that youtube like algorithm it says an alleged game developer posted anonymously to the game dev subreddit admitting that he hates gamers and that members of the Aspen gold subreddit are bigots reddit <laughs> user likely sprite <laughs> who claims he works on a racing game titled his post in the subreddit am i allowed to say this i kind of hate gamers he went on to explain i'm a professional game designer and i'm worried that I'm starting to hate gamers. Watching Damn. the gaming events on YouTube last month with the chat on was extremely disheartening experience. Man. Every time a character that wasn't a cis hetero white male appeared on screen, the chats would feel. Uh, what's that, what's that term? Cis what? I heard that. I heard that a lot actually. Uh, I'm hearing that a lot. What, what's that term? Man, it feels like that every like other week they come up with new terms, right? And, and I'm not even shocked at this point. I, I find this kind of hilarious. It's sad, but hilarious. Right now it's like like whatever, right? I mean, listen, man, I gave up hope. I gave up hope. It's gonna get worse before it gets better, right? You cannot tell me. They destroyed the character of Lara Croft. The goddess, the goddess of video games. They destroyed her character so bad. I, I, after seeing that, I, I, I'm like, it's Jover, bro. After seeing that, I was like, it's Jover, bro. Like, it's Jover. How, how can you destroy the, the goddess herself, the character of Lara Croft, like this bad? What the actual? What is going on right now? What is going on right now? Bro, after I seen that, I was like, it's Jover, bro. It's Jover. Filled with messages calling the game woke or complaining about DEI. Every game that came, the experience. Every time a character that wasn't a cis hetero white male appeared on screen, the chats would fill with messages calling the game woke or complaining about DEI. 
Every game because that wasn't is. a shooter or hyper casual competitive online game garnered Z's and boring. Uh, now, I do agree on this part that, yeah, sometimes when the games are, for example, indie games or a cartoonish game, yeah, people would drop Z, 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 Z. Like, even I stream and you guys do that. Uh, we do more of a joke, but um, even I would uh, also get frustrated. I would get frustrated as well. Because, like, listen, man, like, people got RTX 3090s, 4090s. People also have, like, RTX 2080s, PlayStation 5s, Xbox Series X. Are we just here to? To suffer are we just here to see all the games looking like that so of course gamers are gonna naturally uh say that and i understand his uh the dev frustration on that part but we're, we, you gotta also understand that we're frustrated too on the woke part on the force dei part the gamers are right gamers are right you, you feel what i'm saying you gotta also understand that five years ago ten years ago nobody was saying that because we didn't have any of that so see like gamers were not complaining about it because there was nothing to complain about in that aspect. We were getting good games. We were getting the good kind of diversity. We were not getting this Force DEI, the Force Woke Bull Squash, right? So guess what? Gamers did not complain because we didn't have that. Right now we're having that. That's why gamers are complaining. So you cannot blame gamers for complaining that everybody has the right to like what they like or uh, dislike what they dislike, right? I mean, listen, man, money does not grow on trees, uh, so you cannot expect people to buy uh, your bull squash, right? You cannot spoon fe uh, feed people trash. People are waking up right now. Gamers are waking up, and you can no longer sell the bull squash that the sky is green. Okay, people, people not gonna believe that, man. People not gonna believe that. Uh, so yeah. Comments. Well, all right. First off, you cannot uh -oh. complain, people, for calling things woke or whatever the case may be, because they because are because you are. just literally refer to people as cis hetero white men okay so that shows your particular ideology you don't understand or perhaps you do understand and you're trying uh, to uh, what, what's a cis thing right like uh yeah disingenuously represented but you are coming off as if you don't understand that you are 100 percent ideologically driven it is very clear nobody uses a term such as cis hetero and uh, suddenly is not an ideological psychopath that's just not a thing if you use cis hetero you are 100 percent drinking the sauce and you sin cis uh what not a thing if you let me put captions on like i'm slow on this one my bad guys you cis hetero you are one cis hetero do you mean hetero hetero like hetero like straight male 100 percent drinking the sauce and you since you drink the sauce you want other people to drink the sauce and if they don't drink it in front of you when you force it to them every single game then you're like well you guys are just bigots i don't understand why you're like this right because you want to give in you want to be the one that wants to be driven by ideology you want to be the one that is completely given in to this whole nonsense so like they're calling straight people sis right that, that's a new term am i am i getting that right am i getting that right because that's kind of crazy so you're calling normal people sis so they have come out with a new term to call normal people that what what, what 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 am i what am i seeing right now what am i seeing right now so and you're complaining uh, that other people are calling it woke but you are also calling like normal people like all that all of that damn so you're saying that you can have opinions but other people cannot have opinions is that what you're saying and you expect everybody else to do it well guess what the entire world doesn't have to think like you or act like you and you are just realizing now that that is a thing because the internet is not as policed as it was due mm. to the freedom of twitter now and compared to in the past Fast. it says and then i checked twitter and it's just people complaining that metal gear solid 3 remake is not yellow enough people telling me there are right ways and wrong ways to beat elden ring and people hating on the new dragon age because the trailer doesn't match the tone that they had imagined for it he continued so you're upset that people have opinions like i don't understand people having opinions over a remake that this is this is something that's been around for ages right this is nothing new yeah. people are yeah. absolutely having the same opinions that they had prior but now the only difference mm. is that now it's not censored now you can mm. see it and because you can see it now you're feeling overwhelmed you're thinking oh my god where did all these bigots come from that's the <laughs> problem with safe spaces right safe spaces don't allow you to see the real world so you end up growing up with this idea L let me tell you mr sensitive 99 percent of the world is completely normal it's just you guys that are super delusional right now that thing that everybody needs to think like you guys you're saying that you can have opinions but other people cannot have opinions what are we talking about customer has the absolute god-given 100 percent right to not 
uh, buy your bull squash. Simple as that. If they don't like the the remake bull squash that you've done, yeah, they they're gonna call out call out the way it is. The call out the way they they see it, right? Uh, you're you're making the game woke, and people not gonna and you think that people are gonna eat that up? Oh, how cute! How cute! Idea that the world is one way or you end up living your life if you're already an adult with the idea that the world is one way and then when you realize when that safe space goes away which in this case that safe space was twitter when that goes away you realize oh shit the world isn't like this right the world is not is not how i've been thinking the world is not following the same ideology that i was told was the common one that i was told was the one to follow i've been following this for ages and yet there's millions of people who disagree with me mm -hmm. i can't handle that i need to go back to my safe space where everything is banned and regulated for me so i can just see people uh, that can a brother get his representation what a brown man gotta do come on man let's talk about it real quick fellas what a brown man gotta do to get its representation? Can a brown man just get it? Like, come on, man, for two seconds, damn it! And before you're like, excuse me, I want you, my, I want my representation too, guys. Yes, you also deserve to get your representation, but get me, let me get mine first, damn it! Let me get mine first, damn it! I need to get my representation right now. I need to get my representation. What a brown man gotta do? Man, damn, bro, like they are so like bigoted towards like brown people like me, man. It's crazy, guys. It's crazy, but not on a on a real though. People just want good games, bro. Like, damn, bro, like why are you playing like woke this, woke that? Like, generally speaking, people just want good games. We just want fun games. We don't want politics being in the games, right? Don't tell people two plus two is uh, five, but it's not. Just make good games, damn it. For centuries, for a millennia now, people have gotten good games and people have appreciated. You know, gamers are the only species where, you know, you, you give a game that, uh, you put out a game that's like 7 out of 10 and gamers would go above and beyond to call that game an 11 out of 10. You know, gamers would appreciate it even more. But the opposite is also true. If you drop a game that is like, what, like 4 out of 10, right? You disrespect your customers, your gamers, right? Gamers would give it 0 out of 10 as well, so... <laughs> Yeah, the opposite is also true, but but still, here's the thing though. You you're gonna you're gonna say that gamers are toxic because gamers uh, don't want to buy your bull squash. Gamers gonna complain, absolutely. But gamers are the only species that will still buy the games. I'm looking at Call of Duty, right? Like gamers always trash Call of Duty, <laughs> but Call of Duty is always the best selling game. Now, of course, gamers are now waking up, and it's not true with all the games and franchises. Call of Duty, uh, despite all of its flaws, it still has a decent quality right that's why it's selling if it turns out to be like uh, super bad like let's just say uh saints roll saints walk right of course then uh nobody's really gonna buy i mean call of duty is a household name it's uh known worldwide so people would still buy it there would still be uh millions of sales absolutely uh, so there uh, uh call of duty is not the rule it's an exception but generally speaking r yeah right like gamers get squashed on Gamers still buy after that man gamers complain they get squashed on they complain, but they still buy Yeah, I, I, I right now gamers are waking up is what I'm trying to say not true for every game Like I said Call of Duty does not apply this this does not apply to Call of Duty They can disrespect the cus customer base, but the customers always still gonna buy right but uh, but gamers slowly but surely are waking up right now to the think and act like me I need to go back to my echo chamber that's what these people are experiencing right now that's why it's so devastating to them because they have lived their entire life in this echo chamber or they have worked their entire professional life in this echo chamber only to realize after the removal of said echo chamber that this is not how the world works mm. we already knew that's not mm. how the world works mm. they just didn't know it yet he then added, I've seen some people implying that the main character in Fable trailers is ugly because it's a self-insert of some random level designer working at Playground whom they have deemed as not fuckable enough. No, no, no. The main character is absolutely ugly by every definition of the word. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's just the internet magnifying negative voices, I guess, doing what it does best. But it's making me real tired of gamers likely. Like, what are we talking about? This is... Yeah, like it's a man bro you're saying that it's a female but it's not a female Th that's why people are also like you're telling that two plus two is five but people know it's not five you're telling people that the sky is green but people know it's not green though that's what it is and it's an ugly character 
It's an ugly character. That that's as simple as that. Now, of course, they can you can have ugly characters too. You can have good-looking characters, ugly characters, decent characters. Fine, you can have the representation. You can have representation too though. Wait for it, wait for it. But people just have a problem with when every game and every movie, every piece of entertainment is nothing but that. When everything becomes like this, of course people are gonna have a problem with you know like back in the days it would be like what two percent or three percent of movies or games that would have uh, representation like that and uh, the first one right if you're having like a uh, representation the actual diversity that makes sense uh, then people don't have a problem with right but when 90% of games become just that where it's like forced representation all the female characters are ugly and more so than that when you pick a perfectly fine character and you uglify her like we're talking about this is not even a new character we're talking Lara Croft right so when you take a perfectly good character and you make her like ugly on purpose then of course people people are gonna talk about it uh, we recently had a game dev uh, an artist that came forward and he exposed the woke agenda and he was saying that hey he don't want to give gamer get crowd uh, more like say in this matter he don't like the gamer get people okay that's your right i mean you don't like the the people that call everything woke uh everything woke okay fair but even he was saying we, we covered that recently as well in our video he was saying an actual artist so i'm not even talking about like a guy like me or a guy like you or a gamer we're talking about an actual artist. He was saying that he was sending out his design for female characters, black female characters, and they were making the female characters ugly on purpose. And even he was frustrated, and he said that, that yeah, you can look it up. We even covered it, other YouTubers covered it as well. But if you're not sure what I'm talking about, uh, yeah, you can just Google artist with the keywords like that I described. Yeah, so he was also saying, I'm frustrated. Like, I don't want to give Gamergate uh, people more, like, say, in that i don't want to give them more ammo but uh i send out good designs of the black female characters and they uglify them on purpose uh and even he was like yo what what, what the hell is going on so people are seeing that happen and uh, uh people are just like like what, what what you doing man why are you trying to ruin the games why are you trying to ruin all that crap for us man like don't make it crappy so that, that's where we at right now. If it was just like 5% of the games, even like 10% of the games with like uh, forced DEI, forced representation, uh, it wouldn't be, you know what I mean? It would be like water under under, under the bridge. Uh, nobody would look at it twice because that's uh, how it started. And I remember like when the Last of Us 2, for example, or no, before Last of Us 2, right? There was... Uh, uh, you know the anger boda thing in god of war ragnarok right yeah people were defending i remember i also defended uh, that because i did not see any woke stuff in it I, I, you know why and it was woke it was woke so i got it wrong and a lot of people got it wrong yeah the anger boda thing in uh, god of war ragnarok and now we're finding out that god of war ragnarok was actually linked with sweet baby ink and i love god of war though i love god of war uh and, and god of war ragnarok is a good game but let's be real they added that force dei in god of war ragnarok as well but see people were defending that people were not being super mad with it why because the game was actually good and what they were showing looked good as well and also uh we were at a time when not every game was kind of woke yeah it was happening we're talking about like two three years ago at this point uh you know slowly but surely right now it's like everything every new game trailers that comes out it's woke right like we, we see that like they're changing old characters they're making all the characters ugly on purpose as well all the new characters being uh, made ugly the old characters designs are being butchered left and right so yeah right like of course people are gonna call that out you know what i'm saying like Lee sprite concluded well guess what likely sprite we're extremely tired of people who utilize terms like cis hetero okay we are extremely tired of people that are interjecting their identity politics into literally everything that they touch okay we are tired of it and you're realizing that we're tired of it and then you're tired of us being tired so if you were to stop everybody's tired man just make good good products bro like we would love your products like nobody has ever loved your products gamers like i was saying man like Gamers are the only uh, people that, like, you drop a 6 out of 10 product, a 7 out of 10 product, and you show that you care, and you shout out your fans, and uh, you know what I mean, right? Like, you, you show just some, some, like, an ounce of respect. The gamers would give your game 11 out of 10, right? And if anybody criticizes your game, 
gamers would call that person toxic though you know there would be friendly fire in gaming i've seen that numerous times for example right like uh, i would uh, like see somebody's review right i would react to a review or i would give a game a review like you guys would like yo skizzle I, I i like your videos but like damn homie like how dare you give that game seven out of ten that game is a ten out of ten i'm like bro like yo if you give a game objectively objectively if you give a game uh 10 out of 10 that means that there's no improvement there can be no other improvement that can be made about that game nah bro i don't care bro that game is a 10 out of 10 i don't want to listen you see we're talking about gamers that you give them an ounce of respect they would give you like 10 times back bruh they would give you 10 times back <laughs> they would give your game 11 out of 10 even if your game is not so we're talking about these type of gamers and you can't you want to like call your audience toxic you want to like say that gamers are toxic you want to say that uh we and ever since i heard the quote that gamers are not the target audience of uh, gamers are not the target audience for games i left the chat at that point guys check out this video on the screen because recently there has been uh, you know xbox is actually doing something about the woke stuff shocker shocker i'm not sure if you guys actually saw this or not check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left